So welcome everyone. My name is Spencer Su. Uh, I am your local real estate resource. I'm very delighted to be with Hao Chen today at Camino China. And so loved uh, to use this as an opportunity to highlight small businesses. Uh, we don't get a, a good idea of uh, the names and the people behind the brand. And this is a great opportunity to learn a little bit more about yourself. So please, okay. um, love to ask you a few questions. Uh, first start off with, you know, what is your background? How did you become a chef? What interests you about this space? Yeah, I, I originally come from China. And uh, while I was in China, uh, I have two bachelor degrees, but which uh, both, neither of them are related with the food. Okay. And the first is a computer science and the second is a management. Okay. But why I decided to come this, to this country and uh, I uh, decide to change myself something because uh, uh, I think I'm not will be a good uh, people in the office or right. in the, uh, to be an engineer and right. and uh, the cooking has been uh, my favorite for my whole life wow. when I was really young and uh, yes everyone started with their parents about cooking and uh, the kids standing around and their parents and uh, watch uh, how my dad and mom cooked uh, my favorite food and right. uh, start to like cooking and uh, right and then uh, when I come to then when I come to the uh, the US, US uh, yeah. yeah I went to the culinary school the uh, culinary city of America in uh, New York right and uh, very prestigious school yeah <laughs> very tough school yeah <laughs> yeah but it's proved to be a good choice for me yeah. still uh, right now like after six years of the graduation and the still love cooking, still working in this uh, the food industry and uh, still enjoy it. And, okay. uh, yeah, enjoy working in the kitchen and uh, bring out the food for them. Yeah, and so, yeah, I I think I st still make the good decision to change my major to uh, to cook food and uh, to run the restaurant. And right. this, yeah, and after graduation, I went to um, the Marisa in Los Gatos mm -hmm. for uh, the line cook mm -hmm. for some while and uh, from there I took uh, Michelin style food and yeah. super yeah, fun dining food and uh, the Asian fusion style the chef David King and all the Marisa crews gave me and, uh, and uh, from there I learned how to combine uh, my b background and uh, the Asian influence and right. the American um, ingredients and uh, combine them together to bring people out to some new concept and new feeling of the food. And uh, I think that was really cool. And uh, and uh, I think that's super suitable for me because uh, I have the both of a background and uh, I have uh, like a professional training of the cooking the traditional French, Italian, Spanish, or even American, and uh, I grew up with all kinds of Asian food. So yeah, after that, I decided to combine together, but uh, I'm not really uh, into the super fun dining food. Okay. Like I use right. a tweezer to- Right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of- um, It's a different model. <laughs> it's, a different model. Yeah. Yeah. it's a different model. Yeah, it's a different model, different style. Yes. Yeah, so so I decide to uh I still keep the uh I still uh try to keep my skill going up right. but I'm trying to make the high ones uh all the the price going down sure. a little bit and I let more people to uh can experience my food and they try my food. So and then I went to uh a restaurant in, in uh, Santa Clara, Mario, just the past 104. It's, it's uh, still kind of expensive, but uh, much lower. Like, uh, lower. Mm -hmm. And uh, the chefs is like making some, um, also like the Asian fusion food, mm -hmm. a fusion style. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but portion size is much bigger. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. And then uh, after, uh, after a uh, amount of time and uh, I, decide to open my own restaurant. I got uh, some investment from my parents and so and, uh, yeah. And the start to my uh, first restaurant in the Mountain View, mm -hmm. run stuff I mean, you know, called the Kumino Rice and Noodle. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
from there I started to do my my style of fusion food and mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, pretty good to come out the result come out pretty good uh, right. people start to love my food and a lot of uh, 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 the local medium and the report in this restaurant and they got really good business uh, um, then uh, I think the size li that's uh, the restaurant is too small yeah, right? too small yeah. it's only like 10 tables right um, like no more than 30 seats and uh, try um, I realize I cannot stay in the bistro style in my life whole mm -hmm. life and yeah, I need to still to grow up, so mm -hmm. try to uh, looking for a bigger and a fill it bigger location and mm -hmm. challenge myself to do a real restaurant. Mm -hmm. That's why I come here and partnership with the Emmy, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, came up with this idea. And uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's fascinating. It's a it's a very great space, right? It's a very large Thank space. You. Mm -hmm. um, so, how did you guys come up with the name, or how did you come up with the name Kumino? What is the uh, symbol of that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, when I uh, first uh, think about the name, and uh, I asked a couple of my friends, asked my wife, asked myself, and uh, uh -huh. I was thinking about a lot of uh, name like uh, like uh, oh, I really like uh, Momofuku. Yeah. Uh, in New York, <laughs> yeah. you got Chef David Chang, and yeah. uh, Momofuku means a lucky peach, uh -huh. and. Uh, uh, okay, let me think about some uh, similar as Momofuku. Yeah. Let, uh, there's a, a lucky bag in the Jap Japanese and for Japanese people and uh, some uh, Chinese people they also use a Hongbao. Yep. That's a lucky bag. Right. And, uh, that's a, uh, that's red, a red, red envelope. Yeah, that's, red, yeah, 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 red yeah, red <laughs> yeah. That's a very good gift for uh, your friends and your family right. during the new year. And right. uh, and uh, I love that. And think, I'm thinking about the lucky bag. But one of my friends, that's oh, that name sucks. That <laughs> okay. name sounds like you're doing some American Chinese food. Oh, uh, 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 they, when they heard the lucky bag, they're thinking about the Kung Pao chicken, broccoli beef. Yeah. Don't use that. And then uh, I think about uh, something I really like, some spice or some food I really like. That's uh, right. my friend gave me a suggestion. So uh, cumin is my favorite spice. Okay. And uh, yeah. I'm use I'm the fusion Italian food in there. So in Italian, the cumin is a cu cu cumino. Mm. So I changed the C to K, so I came out the, the word K-U-M-I-N-O. Ah, okay. Yeah, a lot of people think that's a Japanese word, but actually that's um, kind of like Italian words. Okay. A twist of Italian word. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Okay. Oh, very good. So, you know, I've been here mm -hmm. a couple times. The food is very good. Uh, you. So, uh, you know, there's, there's so many different things to get. And the question is ultimately from your perspective or from a chef's perspective, you know, what are the things you get from an appetizer, entree, dessert, um, that you must get at least when you're here the first time and then you come back and you try other things. So, uh, if you can lay the, the three items there, what would you lay out for new people coming in? Okay, you definitely start with, uh, if you come in like a sing, uh, by all by yourself, okay. you definitely start with a bun, as which is a really good uh, amount of, uh, uh, Meat, yeah, the portion size yeah. is really yeah. good for the single diner, and right. uh, yeah, it's a uh, uh, very simple uh, the bowl mm -hmm. wrapped, uh, wrapped uh, some seafood uh, like yeah. a pearl fish mm -hmm. and the uh, uh, soft shell crab. Mm -hmm. All my uh, very signature cumin in there, mm -hmm. <laughs> pork belly. Yeah, I also have a eggplant for the vegetarian option. I start with a small bowl and uh, have some entree and uh, we do no we still do some noodle and rice but tr we are trying to get off the only noodle and rice so sure. we have some other big portion size of the entree and uh, order order one of that uh -huh. and uh, finish with uh, one dessert and mm -hmm. you will get a uh, pretty full and pretty uh, full, right? yep and uh, have uh, some uh, leftover to pack up for your 
tomorrow's uh, breakfast. Yeah, no, yeah. very good, excellent. And so this is a fairly large uh, space, right? Mm -hmm. So there's all, all sorts of potential things that you can do outside of an individual coming in or a small group. Mm -hmm. So um, what are some other, you know, maybe there's corporate events. So what are the other possibilities of this space um, that you're looking to do? Happy hours, things like that. Can you tell us a little bit more of the layout since people may not have been here before? As you can see, we are sitting in a like a private dining room that here, right. and uh, it's used to uh, serve like uh, twenty people, which has okay. no problem for the move room for room for you move out and uh, yeah, and uh, we have a pretty big dining room and uh, we can seat like over hundred people in our whole dining room. Okay, and uh, mm, in the dining room, we have a uh, like medium sized table, mm -hmm. small sized table. Like you come with your for only one friend. Mm -hmm. If say uh, you want some uh, privacy room, yeah, we can give you. And uh, if you come with uh, your family and uh, uh, all your friends to hang out, and we have a big round mm -hmm. uh, table. Circle like, tables. Yeah, circle mm -hmm. tables. That's for the uh, like. Chi uh, Asian, Chinese, they pretty Family good. style. Yeah. yeah. And uh, our food is pretty good for share. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you can sit in on that table for more than 10 people. Okay. And uh, the four people, three people also have a room for you. And mm -hmm. uh, so, you got no problem with, uh, with large to, to find a com yeah, comfortable right. seat for your food. Right. And, yeah. And so, we have a big, like I said, we have a big dining room. So, we have hold some event like uh, which is coming up uh, um, February we have uh, over 100 people the well, private dining like a Lunar New Year Chinese New Year yes events, yep. yes that's yeah that's uh, uh, the big restaurant sure. can can be used for mm -hmm. yes and uh, we are also trying out to um, try out to make uh, our dining room make more sense like um, the company company yeah, events yeah company corporate events, yeah corporate yeah. events it could yes. be after or it could yes. be during or, yes yep. it can be big mm -hmm. can be a small group mm -hmm. and uh, our food have a uh, like a big selection of uh, vegetarian mm -hmm. so okay. uh, it's pretty good for the veg also for the vegetarian wonderful so, yeah and and from my understanding I know you had a recent event you also do catering right mm -hmm. as an option so they don't have to necessarily come here if it's a you know certain size or a certain right. certain interest from somewhere else. You guys are also able to bring food to a different location or bring it to an office. Yes. Correct? Okay. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'm glad we had the opportunity to learn a little bit more about yourself, about the restaurants, about some of the offerings. I want to thank you for your time. Thank and you if there's sponsor. if there's anyone uh, interested, uh, I will have some detailed notes below as well of how to get in touch, uh, where to find them. And, uh, and our existing menu. So that's about it. Very good. Thank you so cool. much.